I'm going to give you a word and you're going to convey the meaning of the word in any way you can. Go. Yes, well, you need a lot of water. 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 Oh, they got it. Go. The opposite of happy. It's the opposite yeah. of happy. I'm very happy. You got it. There you go. It's three words. Let's mm -hmm. call it off. Yeah. Let's call the whole thing off. Call it off. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh. Are you kidding? You're not listening to us. You said to call the whole thing off. Oh, I forgot that you just had to be on the It's just to call off. Now, think about what you did in this game and think about the ways that you used to convey meaning. What did you do to help your teammates? Answer them. Mm -hmm. you know, I, I would have known. Turn on, turn on. I guess it's also fun. Yeah. So, what are some of the things that you did to convey meaning? You gave examples? Uh huh. We provided some parts of speech, like it's a phrasal verb or it's an idiom for. Could be cheating. Yeah, that's better help. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Also, um, a context help. Yes. Yeah. That common verb Listing things in the category, like when you had apples, you said red delicious, and then you said whatever. Oh, yeah. I have a word here, it's an Australian word, and you want to learn this word. What do you want to know about it? What's the part of speech? It's an adjective. How many letters are in it? Five. What does it, what does it sound like? What rhymes is it? Book. Book. What letter does it start with? Hey. Oh, can you write it on the board? Yeah, I can show you. Oh, cool. <laughs> So when we teach vocabulary, do we need to teach all of these things or only some of them? So when we talk about vocabulary, teaching vocabulary, we're going to talk about thumping your vocabulary. Okay, everyone, we are going to learn a little bit of vocabulary uh, right now. Um, the first word is, what do we call all of these, all of these together? What is the name for them? Shape. Exactly. These are called shapes. So everybody, shape. Shape. Everyone, shape. 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 Excellent. Now, we're going to do a little bit of an action word. Um, right now, what am I doing to this paper? What am I doing to this paper like this? Fold. Excellent. Everybody, fold. 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 Bite your lip. Fold. Fold. Very good. Very good. Um, the next word that I would like you to become acquainted with is this picture right here. This is called a cupboard. 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 It's a B sound. Cupboard. Cover. Good. The last thing I would like to uh, introduce to you is a phrase we use to describe some kind of technology or cell phone or something that's brand new. Does anyone know any kind of phrase that we use to describe something really new, some kind of technology, cell phone? Any new technology? No? Well, many people say state of the art. State, state of the art. art. State of the art. State of the art. What's this? What kind of shape is this? Triangle. Triangle. Square. Good. Oh, yeah. What kind of word is shape? What kind of word? Shape is a... It's a noun. It's a noun. Brilliant. And this action? This action? Fold. Fold. Ta-da. Exciting picture. This is called a... Cupboard. Cupboard. Excellent. Cupboard. Cupboard. Good. And that one is spelled, this is how we pronounce it, cupboard. C-U-P-B-O-A-R-D. 
see. Cupboard. Cupboard. Go on to the last thing, the phrase I said. Stay of the art. Excellent.